Right now at four on this Labor Day, we are just hours away from the nation's largest Caribbean culture festival. Compete on this Labor Day. The Pix 11 Morning News starts right now. It's the Pix 11 Morning News. Good morning to you and happy Labor Day. Thank you so much for joining us on the Pix 11 Morning News. I'm Craig Treadway. Manessa will be joining us a little later on. Uh, we begin this morning with a look at your weather and your traffic. First, let's head over to meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden with this holiday Monday. Hey, Stacey Ann. Hey, Craig. What a great start to Labor Day, I must say. It's going to be a great day, guys. Get ready. I mean, we did have some heavy downpours in spots yesterday. But now winds are coming out of the north. There's a cold front coming through, and it's going to pull in that crisp Canadian air. And there you have We have a couple areas of low pressure systems well to our south, but we're going to be right up in here. So it's going to stay nice and dry. Temperatures in the 60s and low 70s. It's a nice mild start. You can't anticipate it being a jacket-free, sweater-free day as folks gear up for the big carnival. Look at the temperature change. We're about a few degrees cooler already with that clearing of the cold front. Now, dew point temperatures, 50s, a couple 60s. So it's a nice crisp, and that will actually be the case throughout the day. We'll send it over to Craig now with a look at traffic. Water, uh, hot dogs in water. It's airing at 3 this afternoon. Also in Dublin, Ireland will permanently be shut down. The art installation on 5th Avenue and 23rd Street in the Flatiron District offers a live video. Barbecuing, heading outside and enjoying the outdoors. Here's a look at your next three days, including today. Oh, it's quite cool, but nicer and comfortable. We'll send it over to you now, Craig. All right, let's get a check of this. Another legend gone. Yes, I know. Gone too soon, too. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Well, you know what? May he rest in peace. And he was definitely, he is definitely um, oh, an yeah. icon. For sure. Thank you so much, Craig. Well, let's take a look now. Labor Day conditions. Just taking a look at the last five years. Certainly, last year we were just shy of 90 degrees. Could you believe it? But we're going to be more like... 2019-ish, more like 2020, as you can see there across the city. So those are the last five years. It was just it has been getting warmer, but now we got cooler air. Speaking of which, we have that dip in the jet stream. Remember that cold front did come through the area. Now that high will be settling in. Mild air, but cooler, crisp conditions. So less humid conditions. It's going to feel nice and comfortable. So if you're having a barbecue, heading to the Carnival, Eastern Parkway, should be good to go. Upper 60s, low 70s, Soho 71, 72, sheep's Said Bay and the winds are pretty calm. You know, despite that front, normally when you have one system replacing another, the winds tend to pick up, but they're quite nice and comfortable. You have a light breeze here and there. 64 degrees Montgomery, 69 at Bridgeport, and afternoon temperatures more like the mid to upper 70s with some 80s sprinkled in, especially for your New Jersey interior sections, areas like um, Weehawken. If you're in Somerset, even Middlesex County, there will be the chance for temperatures to get into the low 80s. Overnight temperatures in the 50s clear sky gorgeous conditions you will need a jacket or at least a sweater and if you look closely there will be some 40s in there especially around Sullivan Ulster County and even parts of New Jersey you can kind of make out the blue contouring taking a look ahead high pressure will be in control staying nice and bright throughout the week the next chance for any showers or downpours will be the weekend as we track a coastal low that'll be bringing in some late night showers and that coastal storm may provide us with heavy rain right now. Models are indicating that it may head further east, but I think it's really too early to know for sure. A lot is expected to change, but gorgeous before then. So enjoy. That's your Pixel 11 weather forecast.